So making your own indoor hydroponic is super simple. All you need to do is these are some leftover baskets that I had from my other one. Came in a kit. It's like $10 for the sponges and the baskets. You could also use solo cups. And I, and I got a video on how I make my own DIY net pots with the solo cups. And you need your media. You can use rock wool, sponges, or even cotton balls. You need a light. Doesn't have to be that fancy. As long as it's a grow light. Now, if you are going to do a indoor kitchen garden, you're going to want a full spectrum grow light. If you're just using the C star, you can really use any floodlight or spotlight, as long as it's um, at least 5,000 K uh, temperature and you know, at least a thousand aluminums brightness and that should be able to get the job done as drilling the holes you can look at my previous video on how to drill holes in containers you simply have to drill the holes to the size of whichever um, basket you choose to use and then you just put a pump inside the pump's about five dollars on amazon i'll drop that in the comments and in the description Make sure you either get a dark color basket or color your basket so that you don't let light in so that you reduce the amount of algae. And then you can get growing in your own hydroponic system. And that one there is probably less than $30. Could have been even less. I could have used solo cups. I could have just used a um, flood light, which I had at first, and then I just upgraded to this light because I had it. And then the pump was like 5 to $8. DIY hydroponic system for less than 30 bucks it can be done trust me i just did it now in my last video i gave you a series of tips and tricks that you can do to make the most out of your hydroponic system and i want to point out one more thing that you can do to get the best out of your hydroponic setup and that is monitoring or choosing the right kind of water now you can just use regular tap water and regular tap water is going to have a lot of alkaline in it and other things but you can kind of mitigate that by using a filter like a Brita filter and then just setting your water out for a day or so to kind of help neutralize the pH and weaken all the additional minerals that they add to a water or you can use like some people and just buy um, distilled water so either or will work or you just use regular tap water it does work just keep in mind that depending on where you're at your tap water may not be the best depending on what you're trying to grow as well so just one more trick just one more trick of the trade to kind of help you get the most out of your hydroponic system setup